there was one on the creek coming in this way or he come out this way and he went down the creek and he went in that way and he come back out and crossed and then the big time after matt successfully wrapped his tag around a big michigan bobcat i was next up to bat and we immediately hit the woods in search of a big Michigan bobcat. And it didn't take us long to find some tracks. You going in with him now or no? Yeah, you know, well. Although we found some tracks, they weren't the freshest set of tracks that we came across that day. So, Corey and I made the decision to call it a day, and with fresh snow expected overnight, we knew that a well rested dog could mean the difference between success and failure. So, off to the saloon we went where we had a bunch of good laughs. Sore one today. Well, it is day two of a bobcat hunt. It is the 9th of January. It's about six in the morning, and we are headed to the woods. We're gonna meet Corey. Uh, he's got a couple bobcat tracks that he's already found for us, and we're gonna hope to get on them. Uh, but it's looking like we might be in for a bad weather bobcat. Got some uh, rain, some freezing rain overnight, and then on top of that, we got about 20 mile an hour winds. So the dogs are really gonna be working this morning, but. I trust them, those dogs did magic. So we're gonna give her hell and see what happens. Oh. Let's go get us a cat. It's a little pretty cat. We uh, don't have a track, so we're just gonna walk into a big section and hopefully cut one. Yeah. Should be able to pick up something, so let's get on it. Here we go. Sure. Yards from the walking trail, he says. So. Tough sure we'd get tracking here. I thought. I think. Oh, sweet. There's a pile of rabbits. Yeah. Seen no cats. Yeah. I'm sure they're in here. We just ain't come across yeah. enough to hit his track, you know. Yep. But you see what I mean when I say like they can stay in the section as long as there's rabbits, they'll be in here for oh, a yeah. month. Dude. Yeah. You know, they ain't got to come out of this. No. As a very experienced bobcat hunter, Corey has learned a few tricks of the trades. 
One of the tricks that Corey picked up during his time bobcat hunting is using an old aluminum arrow and blowing the snow off an old track to determine what kind of track we are looking at. And with it already being midday, we finally came across an old but good bobcat track. So we released Doug and off to work he went. Looks catty there, but... That one might work to blow out. Let's get. Although Doug was right on this cat, Corey and I were just a few steps behind the both of them for most of this hunt. But as luck would have it, this bobcat would make a big mistake as he headed cross country, giving us enough time to come up with a game plan and get ahead of him. Come on, Dougie! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> got her done. Cool. Cool, got it. Oh, wow. Got her done. What a pretty cat. Right here with. Corey Warson with uh, Warson Regulators um, Outdoors. Okay. Got me on a cat, got mad on a cat yesterday. We both doubled down, so it's been a successful trip. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Doug did a lot of great work here. Good job, buddy. Good job. We didn't even jump Good this job. cat until one o'clock. Yeah. We, uh, it was crazy. We were uh, expecting some fresh snow. We didn't get any fresh snow. We ended up getting ice and about 20 mile an hour winds. And uh, it was later in the day. When we finally got on this cat and the dog did work. He just did magic. I mean, I'm just tickled to death right now. I've always, always dreamed of getting a bobcat. So thank you again. No problem, man. Congrats. Yeah. I told you you never moved for a long time. I can't move on the Doug's five and a half year old. 
I run him on bear too, but he's mainly just cat dog. Um, he actually stays in the house with us during the winter because, like, when we're running, it's so cold and whew, it's freezing. But yeah, he stays in the house all winter long. So don't you, old boy? But he's ready to get in now. So he worked hard this weekend, though. I don't got work all weekend.